Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Outspoken Wheels on Wheels. This week is a little bit different from what I've normally been doing, but it is also getting back to what I originally started the channel for, and that was to try and provide and share information for people who want to camp in their vehicle, um, like whether that be a bus, a cargo trailer, um, a minivan, whatever. Uh, that's what I wanted to do is when I was trying to set up my van for camping, I went on um, Google and YouTube and different places to try and find information specifically for people in wheelchairs and how they set it up. And what I found was that there wasn't very much information out there that I found helpful. And I felt like if I started a channel, I would be able to maybe provide that information. And I've been here a year over a year now and I haven't done that because I haven't had access to people who were in chairs that would allow me to do uh, a video on their on their vehicle on their rig but I was at a camping thing this weekend for um, a group of people that all use wheelchairs or at least mostly everybody that was there was in a wheelchair and they all, all had their own camping rigs and four of them allowed me to videotape their uh, their rigs. So this week is the first of one of those um, rigs that I was able to show a little bit about. Hopefully there's some information in there. This is the first time that I've done this and I feel like I missed a lot of information that I should have had. Um, I sort of did go into it with ideas of what I wanted to find out about, um, but I didn't look at my notes, which I'm really bad for. And so uh, there may not be as much information in here as some of you might like. I will improve on that on future van tours. But for now, this is what you get this week. Um, we're going to look at a bus and it's called the Stu Bus because it's owned by Stu. And uh, anyways, let's get started. Okay, this is Stu's bus that we're looking at. I really like Stu's bus. It's very bright and cheery, um, like a, any school bus. It has loads of windows, which, make, which makes it so bright. I would love to have something like that. Stu did all the work himself, and he's a C5-6 or 6-7, I can't remember, quad, which means that he's a very high injury, which also means that he has very limited use of his arms, hands, and legs. But he did all this work himself, and he's still working on it. But uh, I think he's doing a great job. I love the floor. There's a fridge coming up there. He's got hot water. And then the driver's seat is out of a 79 Le Mans station wagon. Le Mans station wagon? Seat because back in the day, both seats used to swivel. Is it and electric I, swivel? or no, manual swivel. And then I built the hand controls. Did you? Oh, right there. They're on this side. Yeah. And I am a C67 quadriplegic, so I have the quad cuff for the steering wheel. And my good hand is on the gas and brake. And the bed you are beside is 90 inches by 7 feet. It's the Stew Bus? Stew Bus. Right on. <laughs> so you're from, where are you from, Stew? Kamloops, British Columbia. Right on. 16 years post-injury, 2007. Yeah? C6, C7 quadriplegic. Wow. Yep. What happened? Uh, I was an MBA at work. So I got lucky. I'm a WCB guy. But, yeah, I mean, I've raced motorcycles my whole career. So I had vans and whatever, and I always dreamed about a bus. And now and you got And when this one. came across my plate, yeah. I ate it up. Right on. Wow. Sure appreciate you showing this to me, Stu. Yeah, anytime. Uh -huh. There we go. There you come in. Yeah, I know. I mean, the worst answer. This is so cute. It's so cute. It was just fantastic. I loved it. So, yeah. Eli's just history. I just wanted to point out the gesture that Stu often uses and the logo that's on his hat. It was, uh, that's how a quad does a thumbs up. When you have limited hand function, that's what it looks like. So that's a bath lift 
and you use that to get on and off bikes or if somebody yeah, exactly. falls, falls. falls off you yeah so these guys have known to be a bit reckless and when somebody falls out of their chair or off their bike Stu takes the bath lift outside and helps them get back to their chair <laughs> 